In the midst of rising tensions and violence in Ethiopia, the Catholic Archbishop of Addis Ababa recently welcomed a positive step. The Nobel Peace Prize awarded to Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed. Cardinal Burhan Yesus Demeru Surafel sat with VOA's Peter Clotty and talked about a new policy that will ensure a continuation of government projects by successive governments, the current political situation and the future prospects for Ethiopia. I was uh, really very, very happy, uh, delighted, because that was the reaction uh, of uh, many Ethiopians, uh, not only in Ethiopia, but uh, all over the world. So there's a new policy of Medemer, yeah. synergy. Talk to me about it. What are your views? How will it impact the people of Ethiopia? Well, uh, the philosophy of Medemer, uh, synergy, uh, signifies uh, that... Uh, uh, a country is built up uh, through uh, uh, various uh, contributions uh, of past governments, uh, past cultural and traditional values. Mm. Uh, you don't have to uh, uh, start from zero every time. Turn over a government, destroy everything what they did, and start new. You can build on what you have. Uh, by taking the positive ones, strengthening those, and uh, uh, say cleaning up from from within. So that is the, the idea of Madaba, that everybody is involved and can add uh, what uh, uh, can add his own or her own values to uh, uh, transitional uh, say uh, period. Some people have expressed concern about the current political and security situation in Ethiopia. Uh, what is your take on that and how can this be resolved for the people of Ethiopia? Yes, because now Ethiopia is in a transitional uh, time and uh, also uh, uh, being uh, in a process of being prepared for an election uh, to come in May. Uh, and so with all this, uh, there are many who, uh, who want uh, to preserve their own, uh, uh, say, political interest, their own uh, wealth, which they have, uh, say, amassed uh, before. Uh, and because of that, there is tension. But usually, the, the tension is created. It is not uh, from the people themselves. Uh, the, the people are peaceful people. And uh, many of them struggling for their daily livings to educate their, their children and live peacefully with their neighbors. What, what are your expectations for the elections in May? Do you expect it to be peaceful, transparent, credible? Yes, uh, I'm uh, really praying that uh, the uh, uh, next election will be uh, very uh, democratic and very uh, peaceful uh, and just because uh, uh, elections uh, need always uh, democratic institutions, strong democratic institutions. You could take, for example, the, the court or the security or the election board and the parliament. All these uh, democratic institutions need to be strengthened every, uh, every election. And we hope uh, once you build the institutions, you will have more and more democratic elections. Before we go, when you meet these political leaders uh, as an influential uh, um, religious leader, what do you tell them about improving the lives of people, maintaining peace and good neighborliness? Well, what, what I tell them, uh, whatever uh, position they have, whatever uh, political power they have, and if they think so, uh, it belongs to the people. It's the people who have put them there. And uh, tomorrow, they, they are there now, but uh, tomorrow they might not be there. And we, we, I always challenge them, what is going to be your legacy? That's my question to them. That was Cardinal Burhan Yesus Demeru Surafel of Addis Ababa speaking to VOA's Peter Claudine.